Hi and welcome to this video lesson about banjo rolls in country guitar. In this video I'm going to show you what banjo rolls are and a couple of exercises for practicing. I hope you enjoy it. Banjo rolls are basically arpeggio picking patterns that guitarists have stolen from banjo players. But apparently banjo players have stolen them from classical guitarists. So classical music seems to be the origin of banjo rolls. Nowadays they are very common in loads of different types of music, especially country music. There are two kinds of banjo rolls that you need to be familiar with, the forward banjo roll and the reverse or backward banjo roll. Let's hold an E chord with the fretting hand in order to focus completely on the picking hand. To play banjo rolls you can either use the pick, thumb pick or finger style. I'll show you with the thumb pick first. Pick the bottom E string with the thumb pick, then the A string with the index, then the D string with the middle finger. Now that's the basic forward banjo roll, like this. You can practice something like this. And once you are a bit more confident, you can move it across all the strings, like this. Now with the pick. Pick the bottom E string with the pick, then middle finger on the A string, then ring finger, like this. And all the strings. When you're picking, just make sure that the fingers don't pull the strings away from the guitar like this. And also don't move the hand, just move the fingers. Hold the same E chord as before and play the top E string with the middle finger, the B with the index and the G with the thumb pick, like this. And again move it across the strings. With the pick, now that you know what banjo rolls are, let me give you a little exercise for practicing. If you are on YouTube, you can just click on the link in the description box and that will take you to my website where you find the tablature of this exercise. But first, let me show you how it goes. Hold the same E chord as before, pick the bottom E, A and D strings, then move the picking pattern to the next set of three strings, so pick the A, D and G, then the D, G and B, then the G, B and E. Now thumb pick on the B string, middle on the top, index on the B string, pick on the G, and we are now on the backward roll. So B with the middle, G with the index, D with the thumb pick, G with the middle, D with the index, A with the thumb pick, and finish with D with the middle and A with the index. So this is the entire exercise. It's basically two bars in triplets, so the tempo will be one, two, three, four. One of the common problems of playing banjo rolls is developing accuracy at faster tempos. Let me just give you a couple of different solutions for that. 
To understand if the picking end is really picking the right strings, let's use the exercise that I've just showed you. But instead of holding an E chord like before, just mute the strings like this. In this way, if the picking hand is not accurate, you'll hit it straight away. Now, instead of focusing on speed, focus on how relaxed your hand really is. To develop speed, your hand has to be very relaxed. Another great way to develop accuracy with the picking hand is using the planting technique, which is very common in classical guitar. Let's use the exercise that I just showed you. Now with the planting technique, you don't just pick a note, you also prepare the next one. So for instance, when you pick with the thumb pick or with a pick, you also prepare the next note by resting the finger on the string. And when you pick with that finger, you prepare the next one, and so on. The planting technique is a great technique to develop accuracy with the picking hand. Just keep in mind that the secret is to repeat it correctly. And to make sure you're doing it correctly, you'll have to do it very, very slow at first. The body needs a lot of correct repetition to learn the movement. One thing to be said about banjo rolls is that on banjo, banjo rolls are actually picking patterns that are one bar long. Whereas on guitar we tend to identify banjo rolls, any group of three or four notes that allow us to roll the finger in a forward or backward motion. Anyway, keep practicing and I'm sure you'll become a master of the banjo roll technique. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.